What a beautiful performance. Thank you so much, Hannah. Joining us now is one of the university's most distinguished alums, formerly a U.S. representative and a U.S. senator from the state of Indiana, now representing America at the Vatican, the United States Ambassador to the Holy See, Joe Donnelly. Ambassador Donnelly, welcome to Notre Dame Day. Well, thank you, and that was an incredibly inspiring performance by Hannah. Indeed. Ambassador, how would you describe the relationship between the Holy See and the United States? It's really strong. Um, our, our President Joe Biden and Pope Francis are very close friends. They uh, share a lot together. And my work with the Vatican, uh, we, we meet on a regular basis. We talk about issues, obviously, across the world, uh, trying to help Ukraine. Uh, trying to make sure that uh, we can fight climate change. And so the relationship is, is as strong as it, probably as it has ever been. Such important things. And speaking of, we know that one of your current objectives is to address the issues of sanitation, clean water and health care in many places in the world that are lacking. How do you think the United States and the Holy See can work together on this? Well, it's, it's a great team effort because we each bring different strengths to, uh, to trying to get that done. We can bring technical skills and abilities to uh, try to make sure that we can provide clean water and sanitation to different areas of, for instance, Africa. And nobody has the infrastructure that the Catholic Church has where there's in almost every village a parish. And so we can bring the, the muscle and the skill and the talent to, to build the infrastructure and the Vatican works together with us to tell us, here's the perfect places for it to go. That's wonderful. From your view in Rome, how important are educational institutions like Notre Dame to accomplishing the United States and the Holy See's shared visions of peace and, and human dignity? Well, Notre Dame is really special, not only back home, um, but here in Rome as well, and, and at the Vatican. When, I, when I'm at the Vatican, people go, oh, you're one of the Notre Dame folks. And <laughs> We have Notre Dame Gateway. Just last week, um, we had approximately 40 to 50 of the students over for hamburgers and hot dogs wow. um, at, at, at my house where I live here. And um, they didn't leave their appetites in, uh, in South Bend. They brought them with them here to Rome. So um, <laughs> it's, it's a wonderful relationship that the university has with the Vatican, um, the presence they have here in Italy. And so um, everywhere you go, for instance, sometimes I'll wear my Notre Dame sweatshirt. Um, and it's, it's incredible how many times I get stopped on the street by folks saying, we love that school. And yeah. I'm like, yeah, that's my school. Yeah, you and me both. <laughs> that global <laughs> ND spirit, you got to love it. How did your Notre Dame education prepare you to, to be a U.S. ambassador, do you think? Well, I'll never forget Father Hesburgh right before I headed off to my first term in the House of Representatives. He, he, he was such a, such a mentor and, and such a guidepost said, Joe, just always remember, do what's, don't do what's easy, do what's right. And so that's one of the cornerstones that Notre Dame gives you. And then you're prepared to handle just about everything that, uh, that you see, that you have the confidence and the belief that the values you've been taught are the ones that make sense. And, and um, that helps to guide me through every day. Don't do it easy, do it right. What a great motto, I love that. Finally, we have to ask you, can you describe what it was like to meet Pope Francis for the first time? Oh, sure. It was, um, you know, he's such an incredible inspiration to the world, such a, such a leader. Um, but I will tell you in, in true Pope Francis fashion, the person he was most interested in was our one-year-old granddaughter. It was like, <laughs> nice to meet you, Joe. I'm really interested <laughs> oh, in meeting... Uh, uh, your granddaughter here, uh, his kindness, his uh, devotion to the poor, to the marginalized, to um, to make sure that every one of God's children has a chance to see their dreams come true. That's that's Pope Francis, and that's what came across in the meeting with him. He also um, is extraordinarily um, anguished about Ukraine, and so we work on on almost every day, ways to make sure we can help uh, help Ukraine survive, help them succeed, so that their people are safe, their people can see their hopes and dreams come true as well. That's wonderful to hear. Ambassador, please offer our well wishes and prayers to Pope Francis and Ambassador Donnelly. Thank you so much again for joining us on Notre Dame Day. Back over to you, Eamon. Thanks.